Vintage Beauty, so it's your girl Vintage Sister, and I am here with the first thrift haul of 2020, and I decided to add a bonus and show you the second part of my Boohoo um, haul that I got. So this is the second part of my Boohoo items. Jay, can you do me a favor and go get me my um, box? I have some boots that I also got from Boohoo. It's in the brown box, mommy. Um, so yes, so first let's just start with Boohoo just because I have it on. I got this sweater dress from Boohoo. It says Paris. It does not feel like a real hoodie. However, it is really soft and comfortable. It also comes with a hood. So I like it. Like it doesn't feel like, you know, like the really good cotton hoodies, but it kept me warm in the movie theater. It's super cute. And I honestly really like it. Um, so yeah, I believe I got this in a size 14. Super loose. Super comfortable. And so I like it. So let's get on with the rest of the items that I got. I got another pair of too big, too long pants but it is what it is these are in like a maroon like burgundy ish color they are bell bottom and they flare they would be cute if they weren't too long the boohoo items are really small that's why i decided to combine it sorry guys so like i stated the boohoo i only have a couple of items so that's why I decided to combine it with um, my thrift haul. Next, I got this heart top in a size 14. It is super cute. The one thing I love about it is the ruffle detail. Now, this is really big, you guys. Um, and it's going to fit too big, especially because I am losing weight. And that'll be a whole nother thing. I'm going to start a keto journey, but not right now. Because right now I'm doing something more um, spiritually based. But this will definitely be too big because it's super wide now. So if you are shaped similar to me, um, I would say size, get a size 10. It'll fit. And it has some stretch to it. The one thing I like about it is the heart detail and the fact that it has the ruffle going across. This would have looked cute with those burgundy pants, but you already know that story. Then I got this black ribbed shirt. I love the sleeves. I love sleeve details, so it takes this shirt to another level. I love rib shirts. I don't know why. I think it just makes something that can be so plain and simple really nice. I got this in a size 8. I don't know what I did that for. But look. Look how roomy it is. So I don't think I'll have any problem. A lot of stretch in this. Um, it has kind of like the... Um, not bellowy, but the poofy sleeve. Um, and then it's kind of cuffed. So... I think this will look nice. This will look nice with a pencil skirt and a like an open blazer. Like you can wear a black pencil skirt and then a flower blazer. That'll look really, really nice. Um, and some pumps. So you can wear all black and just throw o over a open blazer and that'll look nice. I know it'll hide the sleeves, but okay. And Lastly, one more clothing item. I also got another um, rib shirt, but this one is in like a light green. It's like an olive tone green. This one is in a size 10. So like, yeah, you can get a size 8 in these. Super stretchy. Very stretchy. The arms are super stretchy. They're bellowy, so you don't have to worry. It can fit a cap in there, okay? Um, yeah, so I got this in a U.S. size 10. I love this color. Very, um, great for the fall. You can even, you can transition this to the summer if you wanted to. And the spring, you just brighten up your, uh, accessories. And lastly, I got these boots. I love these boots. I've already worn them twice. 
they are like the faux um, crocodile print boots. They're super comfortable, super cute. Love them. I've worn these with some um, light, like rose pink pants and my black top that I got from Boohoo. Uh, and then I also, I can't remember the other outfit, but yes, I love these and I should have. Oh, I wore them with some green pants that I got from Boohoo. My white um, roll neck top and then my big old black, um, you know, that black throw jacket I got. So, yes, this is that part right there. So, now, sorry guys, now we're going to transition right into the thrift haul. So, the thrift haul by me, I guess they're partnering, partnering with Food for Less. Every time I go grocery shopping, I get a coupon that says 50% off my entire purchase. So I went there and got some things. I was trying to get like little cute shirts for Jaden. And then you know me, I always wind up um, getting myself some stuff. So I had a budget of $20 and I got all this stuff for $15. So everything was 50% off. So I'm going to tell you how much it wind up costing. You can just double it to know what the original price was so i paid one dollar for this they had more than one so i'm thinking they had a few of them so i'm thinking this is brand spanking new it says um bring on the sunshine so i thought this was cute i like the color i really like the color i got her this bcbg pullover and i paid three dollars for this Um, I like the little BCBG little low, um, detail with the bedazzle and just a cute little hoodie has BCBG all over it. I mean, I'm not one for all that BCBG everywhere, but she liked it and it's cute. It's a thick material, so it's a very good hoodie. It's a zip hoodie. So yeah, $3.00. Then she got this um, shirt, New York shirt. So this was a dollar. One thing everyone who knows me knows that I love clothes that say have New York on them. I prefer clothes that have New York, like the wording and then like buildings or some type of infrastructure. But this just had New York and all of the cities in New York. So Broadway, downtown, Soho. Manhattan, Times Square, Chinatown. So I just love this shirt. I love all things that say New York. New York. Then I got me some work pants. These came up to $4. Um, these are by, I don't know, but they're stretch brand. I mean, they're stretchy and they're size 14. So, yeah, I will probably pair this with some of my Boohoo stuff. Probably do that black rib top and an open flower blazer. If I still have one. Mm, excuse me. I got another pair of work pants. These also came up to $4. And these are by The Gap. And they're stretched. These are really nice. And I have, like, some nice button downs that can go with this with a nice blazer. So I really like these. I do need me some new pumps. I don't have any anymore. So I do need to get me some nice, um, like, pointy pumps. Not the grandma kind. Um, they're the the wide leg at the bottom. They have the uh, plaid, right? Oh, my God. Sorry, you guys. I like, these are, like, some really nice pants. Really nice slacks. So, yeah, $4. You can't beat that. Um, next I got this, um, loft shirt in extra small. It was $1. Um, so you know that's Ann Taylor Loft. But her shirts run pretty big and I like the detail on this. I like how it's a sweater at the top, but then it's an actual shirt material at the bottom. So this, yes, was $1. So worth it. 
so cute. I can wear this with either one of those slacks, even the gray ones, and it'll look cute. I got this vintage top. It was $2. I'm not vintage sister for no reason. Look at the color. The color for one, and then the two pockets and the button. This shirt is so nice, you guys. I could, man, you could dress this up or down. Like, you could wear some tennies with these, like some blue mom jeans and some white tennies and a cute little sweater. Or you could wear some slacks and some nice heels. Or you can wear a skirt with some tights and a, you know, like, you could do this all kind of ways. But I love, love, love this. It is polyester. It is vintage based on the tag. This is a vintage tag. Love this top. And then last but not least, not because it's like my favorite, it's just last. And yeah, this was $2. And I got this because of the sparkle detail. Like, this is so cute. So this took a sweater that could be so basic and it made it into something more. So I love this. I love the sweater detail. I saw so much more, but like I said, I had a $20 budget and I stuck to it and I only spent $15. So I technically could have got one more item of some of the stuff. So that's about it for my little mini haul. This was really mini, you guys. Um, comment and let me know what you want to see, what type of content you want me to bring to you for 2020. Um, like I said, I will be starting a fitness journey in February. Um, I'm going to give Keto a try. Uh, more, a lot more uh hauls clothing hauls i like trying new things and new stores so i will be trying new stores and definitely will be thrifty so stay tuned don't forget to like comment and subscribe it's your girl vintage sister peace and blessings deuces deuces